15 world's largest aircraft. Once we heard about the unveiling of the largest aircraft ever built, we knew we had to make a video exploring the topic. So here's a list of the largest aircrafts on the planet and a little bit about them. But before that, there's you, everyone out there watching. We're always looking through the comments section for your thoughts because it helps us make better videos. So we'd like to say what's up to John Seymour for cleverly pointing out how fast my narration is on scary islands that humans refuse to populate. Too bad, because that was a really good video otherwise. I don't know what I was thinking, but that's how it goes with voiceovers. Sometimes you try different stuff and it doesn't work out. If you want a decent laugh, check out my embarrassing voiceover on 14 World's Largest Spiders from back in my early Titanic days. It works well for that particular video because it's one of the first voiceovers I ever did and I sound scared, but that's only because I had no idea what I was doing. I probably still don't. Hopefully I'm not talking too fast or something right now. I'll try my best to do better here and in the future, Mr. Seymour, and thanks for the comment. Number 15, Bristol Brabazon. Only one of these massive aircrafts were ever built, and unfortunately it would end up being scrapped just four years after its initial flight in 1949. When it was built, it was one of the largest aircrafts in the world. It was so ginormous that it barely made it out of its hangar. Unfortunately, people felt at the time that the airliner was too large and costly to be practical. Since it was unable to attract buyers or investors, the aircraft became regarded as a commercial failure, which is why it was, at the time, unceremoniously scrapped. This is really a shame, because it seems like it was far ahead of its time, and it was certainly something worth saving in hindsight. Number 14. Tupolev Tu-160. The Soviet Union built this supersonic strategic bomber in 1981. It's the largest Mach 2 plus craft of its kind ever built. While it has an enormous wingspan of 183 feet and an overwhelming 177 foot length, its combination of size and speed is staggering. It first entered service in 1987 and the Russian Air Force uses the Tu-160 to this day. Number 13. Martin JRM Mars. One of several flying boats on this list, the Martin JRM Mars was first launched by the US Navy in 1942 with an impressive 200 foot wingspan. They were designed to be used as long-range ocean patrol craft and only seven were ever built. Several are gone due to various accidents, like the Marshall Mars, which you can see here burning near Honolulu in 1950. Remarkably, one of these is still out there flying regularly. Reportedly, it serves out of Sprout Lake, which is just outside of Port Alberni, British Columbia. Number 12. Lockheed C-5 Galaxy the long and rich history of the Lockheed C-5 Galaxy began with its use in the United States Air Force in 1969. Since then, the transport aircraft has supported military operations around the world, been used to distribute humanitarian aid, and has even found itself in Antarctica to bring cargo to scientists at McMurdo Station in 1989. Obviously, its capabilities are impressive, and with a 223-foot wingspan, it's amongst the largest military aircraft in the world. Number 11. Convair B-36 Peacemaker With a 230-foot wingspan, the Convair B-36 Peacemaker is the largest mass-produced aircraft with a piston engine ever built. It also has the longest wingspan of any combat aircraft ever constructed. The US built it for the Air Force to deliver nuclear weapons and it was used from 1946 to 1959. The Peacemaker had a total range of 10,000 miles, meaning it could achieve an intercontinental flight without refueling. The B-36 spawned the Convair XC-99, which had the same wingspan and first flew in 1947. Number 10, Douglas XB-19. With a 212 foot wingspan and a length over 132 feet, the Douglas XB-19 was once the largest largest bomber aircraft ever built. They were designed to test flight characteristics of giant bombers, and after taking to the skies a few times, the craft was scrapped in 1949. Only two of its huge tires were saved, and both remain at museums, one in Utah and the other in Ohio. Number 9. Blomann Voss BV-238 When Germany unveiled this flying boat in 1944, it became and would remain the largest aircraft produced by the Axis powers during World War II. Three prototypes were constructed, but of those, only one was ever completed. Stories differ as to the craft's fate, but it seems certain that due to an attack, the lone BV-238 was destroyed and sunk into the seas. Number 8. Tupolev Maxim Gorky The Soviets built this the largest aircraft of the 1930s for Stalinist propaganda purposes. Two were built and equipped with a powerful radio set, printing machinery, a photo lab, and a film projector. They were also the first aircraft to come equipped with a ladder that would fold into itself to become part of the floor. During a demonstration over Moscow, a Maxim Gorky crashed into another aircraft. The wreck fell onto a residential neighborhood, resulting in a total of 35 fatalities. A replacement, the ANT-20 BIS, was built, but as fate would have it, that too crashed. According to that story, the pilot allowed a passenger to take over for a minute, during which time that passenger would accidentally disengage the autopilot, immediately sending the plane into a nosedive from which it wouldn't recover. All 36 on board would perish. Number seven, Boeing 747. For 37 years, the original Boeing 747 held the record for 
for passenger capacity. First flown in 1970, there have been over 1,500 Boeing 747s built. It's one of the most recognizable aircraft thanks to its unique hump along the front part of its fuselage. Up to January 2017, Boeing 747s had been involved in 60 accidents in which the hull was damaged beyond repair. These accidents resulted in a total of 3,722 fatalities. Number 6. The Dreamlifter Boeing didn't design this plane to look sleek. Quite frankly, it looks bulky and awkward, but it also has the largest cargo hold at 1,840 cubic meters in the world, which of course was the main goal behind its design. It's drawn comparison to an Oscar Mayer Wienermobile and the Hughes H4 Hercules. Number 5. Boeing 747-8 The third generation of the original 747, this wide-body airliner is the longest passenger aircraft in the world. Its wingspan is equally as massive at 225 feet. A total of 114 have been built, and they are mostly used by the large German airline Lufthansa. Number 4. Airbus A380 Zero. Airports at which the Airbus A380 operates were forced to make some expansions because they were dealing with the largest passenger airliner ever built. These beasts of the sky have nearly 6,000 square feet of usable floor space, by far the largest of any airliner, and a wingspan of 262 feet. As of late June 2017, a total of 213 have been built. The A380 was built by European aerospace company Airbus, which has also built the A340, a smaller, long-range, wide-body commercial jet airliner with a 198 foot wingspan. Number 3. Antonov 225 The Soviet Union built the Antonov AN-225 to transport their Buran space shuttle in the 1980s. Only one was finished, and after it was done with its mission, it sat for years until being refurbished. Today it's in commercial operation carrying giant payloads for Antonov Airlines, and has several records for transporting the largest payloads. It mostly sits unused in a giant hangar, because typical operations don't call for an aircraft with a 290-foot wingspan. It's available to use at a cost of $30,000 per hour, if you're interested. Until the recent unveiling of our number one spot, the Antonov AN-225 was the world's largest and most powerful aircraft in existence. The AN-225 design is based on the AN-124 Ruslan, which, with a 226-foot wingspan, remains the biggest military transport craft on the planet. Before either of those planes, Antonov designed the AN-22 and unveiled it at the 1965 Paris Air Show. With a 211-foot wingspan, the AN-22 is also an off-road warrior by being able to operate at airports with unpaved runways. Number 2. H-4 Spruce Goose Howard Hughes and his aircraft company built this prototype flying boat in the early 1940s to be used in World War II. They didn't finish it in time, and it would only have one brief flight a few years after the war's conclusion in 1947. Remarkably, even though it last flew a full seven decades ago, it remains the aircraft with the largest wingspan at 320 feet to have ever achieved flight. Of course, there's a recently built behemoth waiting to break that record that we'll get to here in a little bit. But first, we'd like to thank everyone for watching. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe after you're finished. Number one, Strata Launch. It's hard to believe the proportions of Strata Launch, which was unveiled in California's Mojave Desert just a few months ago. Designed to unload giant rockets that will carry satellites into outer space, the craft has a 385-foot wingspan. Let's take a minute to think about that because it's ridiculous. A standard professional football field is 360 feet long, a full 25 feet short of the Strata Launch's wingspan. It stands on 28 wheels, five stories high, and can carry half a million pounds of payload. It's able to achieve such capabilities thanks to six massive engines that are also used by the Boeing 747. Plans are to have a launch demonstration of the Strata Launch by 2019.